Hello Parkwood, it's Mrs. Collins. I'm here to deliver this week's social emotional lesson review. We're continuing to talk with the kids about self-awareness and this week we focused on friendship and relationship skills. This week's lesson began by talking about qualities of a good friend. They wanted the kids to demonstrate and talk about those specific ways how they are a good friend and how they have seen their friends be a good friend to them. Some of the students participated in an activity where they traced their hand. And in this, they wanted to have the kids focus on how they can compliment their friends by giving them a high five. Then they would have taken turns showing and giving compliments to their friends and giving them a high five. They would have thought about when they give their friend a compliment, how that makes them feel, and also reminding them that being a good friend is showing that yourself is a good friend. The older kids would have taken this a little bit further. They would have talked specifically about someone who was a good friend to them and given examples of what made them a good friend so that they could discuss it with the class. One thing that was important that the kids really understood is that being a good friend doesn't always come naturally as we would think. We really need to think about being intentional with our words and our actions to show ourselves a good friend to others. Other things that the class would have talked about is how sometimes our friends will change, and that's okay, but when we're looking for friends that we continue to show those character traits of a good friend to others. And that even though our friends do change over time and realize that sometimes it is more difficult to make friends, that we realize that we're always the one that's showing friendship because people are going to give back to us what we give to them. These were really good discussions to have with the kids this week because some of these things we think will just come naturally to kids, but it's really important to think through how and why we do things to make ourselves have friends. So if we do that, we can be more intentional with the way we act and the way we say and the way we reach out to other people around us. Even in these virtual times, it can be helpful for kids to practice these as they're involved in small groups or their classrooms or maybe even with family nearby, um, that they can continue to put these things to practice. But as they continue to grow and make new friends, that they learn through it. We hope you have a great weekend. We miss you and I hope you're doing well. Take care.